Hello. <coughs> and welcome to my video. It's about my favorite band, Slater Kinney. Album number one. It's self-titled. That's what this video is about. This video features me, Isabel, Carrie Brownstein, Corn Tucker, and Laura McFarlane, because Janet Weiss was not their drummer yet. Let's just dive right in, why don't we? With the first song, Don't Think You Wanna. This one, it, it goes pretty hard in the chorus, but I don't really like the verses because, I don't know, they're just too stagnant for me. And also, some of the lyrics, they just make me shake my head. Way up in the sky, that is where am I? Mm -mm. That is a stretch and they could have done better. It's not a bad song and I like it. So overall, I give that one like a seven or, or six. Let us go on to the day I went away. sounds like slightly bored when she's singing the lyrics. It adds to the mood, but she also sounds like a tiny bit bored. There are a lot of symbols in this. Okay, that bridge is one of the greatest things because it just sounds really longing. It's a very good bridge. Do I always have to leave for you to want me here to stay? definitely one of the greatest lyrics I've ever heard. I love that. Like, it conveys so much. That song is really good. I love that one a lot. It really makes me feel the heartbreak, you know? I feel a little heartbroken now. Especially like that bridge and also the guitar part. It's, it's very, I don't know, it's kind of plaintive. Next is A Real Man. <laughs> like this one that much. There's too much shouting and talking singing, which, you know, I love a good shouty song. I love when they shout. I think it adds to the song in specific places and specific doses, but this whole thing is just like thrashing out of just anger. A lot of anger. It's just a little too much for me. Corrin's shouting like the whole song. Also, that symbol stays going. There's just too much going on. Even though I can't handle it, I can definitely see the good aspects of it in the anger and the frustration. It's not bad, just bad for me. Next is her again. My opinion on this song is not fully formed. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I love this part of it. It really does it to my heart. It makes you feel kind of like longing, you know? But also, then it gets to the chorus, and I just, I don't know, I don't know. I, I do not know. I still like it. Like, I like it when she shouts, but for some reason this specific one is not what I need. I think the part of it that's really doing me wrong right now is the symbols. I don't want to be mean to the band because they didn't have Janet Weiss as their drummer yet and Janet Weiss is amazing. I like Laura McFarlane's drumming. I think she's very good. But I personally find that her constant tapping of the cymbal in every song, it's just too much. I'm overwhelmed by the cymbal. So, you know, in her again, I think I would like it better if there was less symbol. Symbol is another thing that needs to be used in moderation, just like shouting. But if it's through the whole song, it doesn't mean anything. It loses its meaning. <sighs> Those are my qualms with the symbol. Next we have How to Play Dead. <laughs> See, 
Like that's a good example. She sang the first part, and then the last part of the first part of the verse, then she talked it. Like right there. That's good. I like that. The first time I listened to this album, I did not like that song. And then, I was listening to the album, I heard the song for a second time, and I was like, this song is so fun. This song is just like a little, fun little package, little present, just, just for funsies. And I like it. So now is Be Your Mama. Like, in this song, Laura McFarlane is just playing one symbol or the other symbol. Always. Like, every eighth note. Symbol, 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 symbol. It's enough. I've, I've had enough. I get it. You can play that symbol. This song is fun because it's, not, it's like, be your mama. But it's spelled like B-E-Y-R. M-A-M-A. -A. So that's that's pretty edgy. They really did it with that. Y R. Your. I love that bridge. It it gets my heart and it twists it a little bit. You know, like, I'm not sure exactly why, but the, the melody of that guitar makes me... I need to skip back. You can kind of hear it, you know, and then you feel it and you're vibing. I can't articulate why that bridge just gets me. It vibes with me. I vibe with it. That's also a pretty iconic ending. I really like the ending to that song. So overall, Be Your Mama. I know I said that I don't like songs that are all shouty. Be Your Mama is very shouty, but it has that bridge. And the lyrics, be your mama, are very funny to me. A little bit I laugh inside. I know it's supposed to be serious. Also that edgy spelling, Y-R, that's pretty edgy. So all in all, very good song. Next is Sold Out. This is by far my least favorite song on this album. I do not like it. The one redeeming factor is this guitar part. That's it. It scares me. It makes me feel afraid. And when she shouts, I want money, it makes me go. Which I know, it's supposed to be sarcastic. But I can't help it. And there's too much symbol, and there's no singing at all. only a minute and like 17 seconds but th that minute and 17 seconds are some of the most uncomfortable minutes and 17 seconds that I've spent in my life. It, it overwhelms me because of how much shouting there is. It overwhelms me because of the symbols. It overwhelms me because she makes me scared and I don't like that she shouts I want money. Next we have slow song. This song kind of shows that the band is kind of like more in the early stages because like you can kind of hear in Corrin's tone, her tone isn't fully developed to what it will become, you know what I mean? 
like it just sounds a little bit young and the vowels are a little bit like closed. I like this song. It's nice. Also, the title of this song is Slow Song. Let's see what the Bible has to say, because I know it says something. Many of those earliest tunes didn't even have names. We called them last song, slow song, as if it were enough to merely have a song, a band. Titles? Who needed them? That's pretty good. Short interlude to talk about this book. It made me almost cry, and it was very good. I'd like to go back and reread the beginning of the chapter about the woods, because I don't know why, that part just is so fascinating to me. I must admit, I'm partial to Carrie Brownstein. I like her a lot. Yeah. Now let me talk about Slow Song. It's good. I like it. It's just not super memorable to me. I don't really have a lot to say about Slow Song. Now Laura's song. <laughs> Here's what I have to say about this song. I like it. And that's just the truth. Corin's voice and like tone in this song are really good because they really convey the emotion very well. This camera <coughs> stopped recording right in the middle of Laura's song for no reason. Yeah, so as I was saying, Corin's voice in this song is really full of emotion and it hits me right here. The way that the guitar part and Corin's vocal part kind of weave together emotionally is really nice. I don't know. Just putting those two things together, those two things together really vibe. Like, the melodies of them and how they... <sighs> this song is one of the better ones on Corrin's voice, I feel like. Like, as opposed to Slow Song, this one just has more vocal maturity and feeling. I also like that it's, you know, a more chill one. Now we will proceed to the last song. Called that because it is the last song on the album. Is that not clever? The answer is yes, it is clever. The, the cadence and the rhythm of that previous line where she says, and your games are through, it's just, it's off. And I know that I shouldn't judge based on that, but that's what I'm here to do, is judge. Whatever. I don't have to justify my actions. song is a very good one and here's why it has just what I like verses that are a little more chill pretty got that nice guitar Carrie's voice love Carrie's voice she sounds so young in this it's so funny it has packed into those little sections very very screamy parts and that's just what I need, is I need that singing and then the screaming, because that makes it powerful. I love that song. And when she goes, I don't owe you anything, that's so true. She doesn't. Nobody owes anybody anything. Well, that one gives me girl power vibes. I know that all the other ones also have girl power vibes, but the last song especially gives me girl power vibes. So, now, let me speak of the album overall. There are six or maybe seven out of 10 that I really like. That's like a 65%. That's pretty good. It's their first album, so they were just getting into it. It's not like they had really refined their style yet, but they were, they were getting out there. Some pretty good songs came out of it. Anyway, that's the end of this video, I guess. So, goodbye. 
Thank you very much for watching. It's kind of awkward because there are other people in my house.